Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about Brian Johnson, the liver king. So he's a self-proclaimed star who has blown up internationally on social media, on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, every single platform who looks like this and claims to be doing this, looking just like this, just from eating liver and then following the primal tenets that he is in terms of how man should live. Walking outside, being grounded, uh, all those sort of things. In the reality, I think we all knew this was a stack of shit. And if you agree, comment below. Now, this scandal all came about because there were some private emails leaked from the Liver King to doctors and other people within the bodybuilding industry seeking advice and basically planning out exactly what he wanted to do. So what was even more interesting than this, and he put on the emails predicting what he was gonna do, he was hiring a film crew, everything like this, to actually live in his house, to try and blow up his social media, and he needed to be in the best shape possible. So he was actually overdosing himself with growth hormone, everything under the sun, and spending up to $11,000 a month on performance enhancing drugs. Now, this doesn't really surprise me. It's something we probably see a lot in the film industry. You see it a lot in professional sports. However, it goes under the radar. If you agree with that, comment below yes or no. And the reality is, do you think performance enhancing drugs should be in sports? Should be the mainstream or should not be? Because a very interesting thing is that these are often drugs and compounds that are naturally found within our body. And in my opinion, with safe and proper guidance, they can be used correctly. However, there is a lot of misinformation, a lot of poor guidance, a lot of abuse that happens, which is what we tend to see in people, even people like the Liver King situation. Now, the problem with people like Liver King is he's obviously massively financially benefited from this. And as he said, he had loads of money beforehand, so he didn't need the money. So first, I question why he actually did it. I personally think he's just looking for fame, attention and stardom. Now, the reality is what's gonna happen because of what Brian Johnson's done, the Liver King, is this he's gonna trigger other people to do exactly the same thing. And that's the problem, it's almost like you get the copycat syndrome, we're gonna get other people who are gonna maybe not necessarily be the liver king and eat raw liver, and that's how they got so jacked, but they might have like the Pop-Tart diet, which they, or they eat is Pop-Tarts, but they take 100 IUs of growth hormone a day, and they say that's why the, the way they look is because of the Pop-Tart diet, or whatever it would be, for example. If you'd like a certain diet like that, comment below, let me know what you think. The reality is, what is gonna get you results in terms of your physique and your training and nutrition is looking at a long-term perspective. It's making sure that your health is looked after correctly, whether you're using performance enhancing drugs or not, because what Brian Johnson has been doing is definitely not sustainable. Also, his apology physio that came out is laughable. Like, the whole thing is just a joke, and he's a very intelligent businessman, otherwise he wouldn't have achieved what he's done with his previous businesses before he started the Liver King. However, the whole thing is just a fallacy. And anyone who buys into this BS, you need your head retested. Like, why do you think eating raw liver and meat is gonna be a good idea? That's the reality. He's setting a very bad example, which people are gonna be following. And this is where we need people who are gonna be educating people in terms of, on social media, in terms of what's right, what's not, what's real, what's wrong. And if people are gonna be using performance enhancing drugs, they need to do it with safe and proper guidance. And the big thing people need to think about is using um, minimal effective dose. Rather than what Brian Johnson was doing, using maximum effective dose. Because with anything in life, there is a law of diminishing returns. And more importantly, when you come to looking at things like performance enhancing drugs, the side effects go up massively the more people take. So that's why if people are gonna be using that and you are gonna be using something like this, you wanna use the smallest amount possible to get the least, the least amount of side effects and also the maximum amount of benefits. Now to summarize, I don't think anyone should be fooled by this. Guy was super jacked, doesn't wear a shirt, doesn't wear shoes is just a bit of a clown and an actor on TV. And in reality, obviously he eats, trains properly, but eating raw liver every day and doing the primal tenants is not gonna make you look like Brian Johnson. Taking 100 IUs of growth hormone and also training and uh, eating correctly will do. So if you agree with that, drop us a comment below. Hope the video was helpful and insightful. Big shout out to Derek for more place board dates for pulling all the information out on this one. Smash the like button and subscribe for more video content soon.